This is a story of, no, an insight to my life in boarding school. As most of you know by now from the last video, I was born in Tanzania. Matter of fact, I only moved to America 6 years ago when I was 11. And in Tanzania, just like here in America, we have public and private schools. Here in America, most of the kids tend to go to public schools, you know, where it's free, you don't have to pay for anything except for maybe lunch and the education standards are pretty decent and up to date, so I mean, why not, you feel me? Now, in Tanzania, public schools are just not up to the standards. Matter of fact, they are so bad that there are way more private schools than there are public. And that's why most families in Tanzania who can afford it choose to send their kids to private schools, preferably boarding schools, because there is no such place that builds character than boarding school. Here's the difference between day and boarding school. Day school is the one that most of you are used to here, you know, the one that you get up in the morning get on the bus, get to school and after school get a chance to go home to your loved ones and maybe give them a hug and express how much you've missed them like Mom, I've missed you so much, I can't believe I spent 6 cruel hours of my life without even seeing your face, I just miss you so much mom Or something like that, I think On the other hand, boarding school is well, let me just describe it to you you get to live on this big campus with a bunch of other students and you have personnels that their sole job is to make sure that no students gets any ideas. <laughs> if you catch my drift. But all jokes aside, boarding school is actually more like a closed campus college, but instead of going home after school has ended, you know, like every normal person does, nah G, you get to see the same walls for a whole semester, my G. Now the school system in Tanzania is set up like this. For primary and secondary schools, the school year only has two terms. But the terms are so long, my G. I mean, the first term goes from January to June. That's four months. Then you only get a one month break in between. Then after that, it's another four months from July to December. So if you're planning to go to boarding school, then you better get comfy on that bunk bed, my G. And bring all your stuffed animals, favorite underwear, and those fake ass Gucci slides, cause you won't see the outside for a minute, my G. And even though your stuff will get stolen within the first week, they'll give you comfort while they last. Once you get accustomed to the way of life at boarding school, life can get very simple. The schedule of the school I went to went like this. On weekdays, you get up relatively early in the morning, you know, your usual. 4, 5 a.m. and the first thing we had to do depending on your grade was to go sweep and pick up all the trash laying around the campus. After that we'd clean up, put on our uniforms and get ready for school. But we have to have breakfast first so for breakfast they would give us porridge which wasn't bad but also it wasn't the best. And that was from 6.30 to 7 a.m. Then at 7 we'd have a school assembly. At the assembly they'll tell us any daily announcements and all that boring stuff, you know? After that then it's just your regular one hour classes. It went first period, second period, but then we'd have breakfast at 10. Yes, again. But to be honest, I mean, the first time wasn't really breakfast. It was just something to fill our stomachs to keep the little monsters at bay. Just long enough to make this. Well, actually more like this, but you get the point. And after that full course of breakfast, we'd have two more classes before lunch. After lunch, there's another two classes before meeting at the assembly again, where this time they'll announce all the stuff that happened during the day. For example, the teachers would mention all the well behaved students of the day as well as the not so well behaving students and when all that is said and done comes my favorite part of the day when the cemented ground is not too hot from the sun and me and my friends are playing the beautiful game of football and yes i said football cause what is this uh looks like a foot looks like a foot eh okay what is that it is a ball Okay, if this is a foot and that is a ball, now put them together, what do you get? You get a uh, foot ball. Football, eh? Then what do you call it, soccer? Eh, hey, you stupid boy. 
ask, you've been Americanized. Hey, it's our Mel MT, and before we leave, I got a quick announcement. Thank you guys for the 100 subscribers. I know it's only 100 subscribers, but I mean, I went from zero now, I got 103 people supporting me, so I appreciate that. Plus, comment down below what you think of the video, and don't be shy with that like button, my G. Just click it once and show it some love, you feel me? And you know the like button got a friend called subscribe, so you might as well.